In this video, we learn about difference equation. We learn about how to solve a difference equation. First of all, what is difference equation? Let us consider y t is the value of y at time t. Say t represent present year. Suppose y t minus 1 is the value of y at previous time or at previous year. Let difference between y t and y t minus 1 is a that means y t minus y t minus 1 is a, a is constant or y t is equal to y t minus 1 plus a. Say this is equation 1. Now, shifting the time subscript ahead of one period, we write the equation 1 as instead of t, we write t plus 1 equal to instead of y t minus 1, we write y t plus a equation number 2. Here equation 1 and equation 2 both are difference equations. Since both these equations have time lag of one period in equation 1 that is t minus 1 and in equation 2 t plus 1. So, they are called first order difference equation. So, these are the these difference equations where we have time lag of one period. So, such type of equation having time lag of one period is called the first order difference equation. Here the time variable t or time variable is discrete discrete variable like 1, 2, 3. Here we consider t as a present sorry t as a present year or say present period and t minus 1 is considered as a previous. So, the time variable is the discrete variable it is here we do not consider the time variable as a continuous variable. Since time variable is considered as a discrete variable and we consider the effect on y of the change in time with discrete number or say change in discrete time. And so, it is called a difference equation. For the solution of a difference equation, we take the differential equation y t plus 1 equal to y t equal plus a. In iterative process, if t is equal to 0, then this difference, equa difference equation will be y 1 sorry y 1 equal to y 0 plus a. Instead of t we write 0, so it will be 0. Instead of t we write 0, so it will be y 1. So, if t is equal to 1, then it will be y 2 equal to y 1 plus a equal to again y 1 is equal to y 0 plus a we have an a. So, it will be y 0 plus twice a. Similarly, if t is equal to 2 then it will be y 3 equal to y 2 plus a again y 2 is equal to y 0 plus twice a we put it y 0 plus twice a plus a means y 0 plus twice a. 
So, this way if we write y t instead of 1, 2, 3 we write t then it will be the y 0 plus. So, when it is t and here also when it is 3 it is 3, when it is 2 it is 2, when it is 1 here it is 1. So, when it will be t then here will be the t a. If the initial value of y is a or y 0 is a then y t will be in place of y 0 we write a plus t a. So, this is the solution of the differential sorry difference equation y t plus 1 equal to y t plus a. So, this is how we get the solution of difference equation using the iterative process of solution. Now, let us consider instead of this equation we write m y t plus 1 minus n into y t equal to 0. So, instead of a here we write 0, instead of 1 we write n and instead of 1 here we write m. So, coefficient of y t plus 1 is m and coefficient of y t is n and constant term is 0. So, this is called a homogeneous first order difference equation. Now, in order to solve this difference equation that is in order to solve this homogeneous first order difference equation we add up the iterative iter 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 process then we write m y t plus 1 equal to n into y t. Now, if sorry or y t plus 1 is equal to n by m y t or we may write y t plus 1 equal to y t into n by m. Now, if t is equal to 0 then it will be the y 1 y 0 dot n by m. If it is t is equal to 1 then it will be y 2 equal to y 1 n into m again y 1 means y 0 n by m and that is equal to sorry we have 1 n by m and that is equal to y 0 into n by m whole square. Now, see when it is 1 it was the power is 1 when it is 2 that power becomes 2 power of n by m. So, similarly if y is equal to sorry t is equal to 2 then it will be y 3. So, y 2 into n into m equal to the value of y 2 is again y 0 into n by m square into n by m. So, ultimately y 0 n into m whole cube. So, this way in general y t will be equal to y 0 n by m whole to the power t. Now, if initial value y 0 is a say if y 0 is a or the ratio between n and m that is n by m is b then y t is usually y t will be equal to a into b to the power t. Here this is the solution of this homogeneous first order difference equation. 
here we have found that if the difference equation is this that is if the difference equation is a homogeneous first order then the solution will be this that is y is equal to a into b t. So, a is the initial value of y that is y 0 and b is the ratio between the coefficient of y t plus 1 and y t that is n by m sorry b is equal to the ratio between the coefficient of y t and the coefficient of y t plus 1 that is n by m. Now, let us take another form of difference equation first order difference equation that is y t plus 1 plus a y t plus sorry not plus equal to c. So, this is the first order difference equation here we have constant term c. In such case first we have to find out the solution of this of the homogeneous part that is we have to consider this part plus 1 equal to a plus y t equal to 0. So, this is the homogeneous part of this equation. As per this formula, the solution of this homogeneous part will be y sorry here y t y t will be a b t that means here a is the y 0 b means n by m that is so b will be the here when it was minus n it becomes positive n but here we have positive a so it will be the negative a by m m means here 1 so 1 whole to the power t so ultimately it will be y 0 minus a to the power t or we write a into minus a to the power t. So, instead of y 0 here we write a. The solution of the homogeneous part of this equation is called the complementary solution. So, this is called the complementary solution. For a particular case we consider y as constant k that means it will be equal to y t as well as it will be y t plus 1. So, when we consider y is a constant so the value of y t or value of y t plus 1 both will be the constant k. So, in that case in this particular case this equation this equation that is this first order difference equation will be the k plus a k equal to c. So, c is equal to 1 plus a into k. So, k is equal to c by 1 plus a. So, k plus a k equal to c means c equal to 1 plus 1 plus a into k or k is equal to c divided by 1 plus a. In this particular case when we consider y as a constant k then the difference equation becomes y is equal sorry k is equal to c by 1 plus a. So, this called the particular solution. So, this is the particular solution because particularly we consider y as a constant k. So, if we write complementary solution as y c 
and particular solution as yp then the complete solution of this difference equation will be yt will be the yc plus yp that means a into minus a whole to the power t plus c divided by 1 plus a. Now, when t is equal to 0, then y 0 will be equal to a into minus a whole to the power 0 plus c divided by 1 plus a. So, it will be the a plus c divided by 1 plus a. So, ultimately a will be equal to y naught minus c divided by 1 plus a. So, instead of a we can write y naught minus c divided by 1 plus a. So, the complete solution or final solution of this difference, difference equation is y t is equal to instead of a we write y naught minus c by 1 plus a minus a whole to the power t plus c by 1 plus a. So, this is the complete solution or final solution of the difference equation of this. Well, here we have learned about difference equation and solution of first order difference equation. Thank you.